Hey everyone, Jag Tagger 93 here with another Quake map. This one is called Vampire Sisters, comes to us from 1997. And it's an older map, uh, rated very lowly, 2 out of 5 actually, but I always like going back to older maps and seeing if a low rating is warranted or if it's just some hidden treasure there. Um, I always feel very nostalgic too for these older maps as well. And with a title like Vampire Sisters, it could be in for something really interesting today. So uh, let's see what this one has to offer. Now right off the bat, I hit escape to pull up the main menu because we start right with these two knights right in front of us. You can see them right there to the left and to the right. So as soon as I unpause here, both of them are going to come right at me. Alright, one went in one of these portals. So we got these four portals here. Double barrel boomstick. I also have some Daikatana music playing in the background. Uh, why? I don't know, I just feel like it. Red armor up there. Now that's interesting. So that one of the knights disappeared into one of the portals. And it looks like he came back up there, so... If we can figure out which portal he went into... We can get ourselves some red armor. Let's do that. Maybe it was... This one? Yes! Nice! Oh, and I see an ogre over there. Alright. Come on, Mr. Ogre. And he just can't get us from up there. We're too high. Got him. Alright. So let's see what's underneath the water here. Looks like... Yep, yeah, looks like we found a secret. The quad damage over there. And I wonder before we get that quad damage, I wonder what these other areas are like. That's interesting. That's real cool. So, we just came to an area that looked a lot like our starting area, actually. Uh, four portals as well, but I think ours were a different color. Yeah, ours are red. And, screw you. There. And the other areas have blue, so that's kind of cool. They had red armor up there again, too. That's neat. Um, the name of the map is again Vampire Sisters. So I guess two sisters, two aspects of this map. That's kind of neat. All right, let's get our quad damage. Boom! I hear a spawn. That spawn is all over us. Got him. Another spawn. Okay. Doggo. Another doggo. Fiend, no problem. Love the quad damage. Oh, we just found our key. That looks like a, a tube to go elsewhere. We're not gonna bother with that just yet. Now, I really like the look of this place. Not the architecture, but the look. I like how the um, the skybox up ahead, that blue skybox, matches the color and textures. I think that's a really cool touch, actually. Now, what I mean by the architecture is, well, just this look. We have a wall just there. Just cut off right there. Um, some of the walls have this brick pattern. Some of them have this face pattern. Some of them have this gold face lining. And it just seems to be... Kind of haphazard. Um, the architecture here looks like, well, it looks like someone who's new to map making in the 90s of Quake. It also reminds me of one of my early Minecraft creations as well, too. Boom. Alright. Alright, we needed the silver key for that. Why, I don't know. What I, what I mean by that is, we just got the silver key. It was right over here. Or, yeah, it was over. Leave me alone. I'm trying to show people something. Yeah, it was right over here. Die. Alright. So, anyway, yeah, the silver key was right there. And the door we need to use it on is an eyesight right over here. That's kind of crappy. 
I mean, we didn't even have to go through a door to get the silver key. It was just like right there in plain view. And the door to access it is right in the same area, right next to it. You, you can see it. That's it's kind of like, what's the point then? What, why even bother having the key there in the first place? Um, it'd be like me locking my door to my home and then having my key to open my front door just a few feet away, hanging up in plain sight. Just, hmm. My anyway, gold key. Down to grenades, okay. Alright, now we can go through here, and maybe this will take us to where we need to use the gold key. Oh, this is cool. The um, area we, ju we were just at had that you know blue theme going on. This is a red brick theme, so again, the duality uh, theme at work here. You know, the vampire sisters. The yeah, you know, two of them, I'm assuming. There might be more, but... You know, from very early on, we were hinted at that duality aspect. You're a fish. I hear a scrag. Hey, and Vampirella. Awesome. Ow. Yeah, I used to read Vampirella back when I was an awkward 14-year-old who would play a lot of Quake. Now I'm just an awkward 30-something-year-old who plays a lot of Quake. I don't really read too much Vampirella anymore, but that's pretty awesome. I guess she's one of our vampire sisters. Oh, is that a platform I see? The dog over here? Yes, yeah, and a pentagram of protection. Now I wonder if I grab that and go swimming in lava, if there's any secrets to find. Nope. Nope, nothing. How about over here? Nope, nothing really. Alright, let's get up out of here. Oh, well, that was a waste. Usually that's an old trick that they, you know, have in Quake maps. Have pentagram protection and lava. I wonder if this over here or something. Yep. Have a pentagram protection on lava and then have it lead to something substantial. Alright, we don't have our armor anymore. But, we know where the second red armor is, so we'll grab that now. I left that super health over there. So, armor's there. If I remember correctly, it's this one? Yes. Nice. Alright. I'm guessing this would take us back to our blue area. If we use it correctly. No, maybe not. This is red, so I'm guessing one of these will lead us to the red area. Or blue. Okay, never mind then. I'm trying to figure out the psychology of this map, and it's kind of kind of wonky. The Thunderbolt? It is. Nice. Um what? Not sure how I feel about this. Okay, so they're using the uh, Quake uh, Shadow brush here, and, and it's it's done a lot in Quake maps. And usually, when you do it, you want something in the environment to make that shadow, or else it just kind of looks like what? We're, we're just are, we'll just make shadows now with no with no source. Yeah, you know, screw ambient and, and reality and immersion. Just it's there. Ugh. Kudos for trying, author. Kudos for trying. I almost walked right by you. Kind of like that guard in Monty Python the Holy Grail. Just ran right by him. Hey! Alright. Anyway, yeah, we have to find that uh, door that we need to use this key on. Where's that pipe? Alright, let's change the music to some classic Quake 2 tunes.
Well, I usually like listen to this song when there's like a lot of stuff to shoot and a lot of action, and now it's just kind of wandering around, so it's not really suitable music, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, there's our nonsensical quake emblem in the shadow, being cast by something. Where's that pipe? Oh, Scrag. Hey! And it's Vampirella's blue twin sister. So I guess we found our vampire sisters. Now... Alright, sure. Yep. And I wonder if this one will give us a pentagram as well. It will! I'm not going to bother going in the lava this time. Alright. We're back over here. So we want to go to the red area. So that took us to the blue. This should take us to red. No, shit. God damn it. Alright, where's that pipe? Yeah, okay. Ah! There we go. There we go. Now we're on our way. Whoa! I hear fish. I'm not gonna bother them. Alright, what the hell? Is this an elevator? Alright, it was. And that's just kind of sloppy. We have a floor texture that you can just pass right through, thankfully, so we're not bonking our heads. But just have an opening. All right, what's this? Another? El yep. I'll laugh if. <clears throat> nice. Really? There should be an opening here. That's just wow. All right. Nice. Is that our exit? Can't be. Hey, a shambler. Come on, Mr. Shambler, square up. I got plenty of health. There we go. That can't be our exit. We, we still have our gold key. Which opens that door. Okay. Let's look around a bit, because that, that can't be the end of the map. Okay, rocket jump over to that side. Ah! Alright. That was a waste. That uh, just brings us back to the bottom floor. Alright. I wonder what's over here. Oh, cool. Activated a secret there. Ring of Invisibility. Boom. Alright, I got full health. Got some more shotgun shells. I feel pretty good if there is anything beyond that door. Which I really hope there is, because I can't have an exit just yet. Actually, what the hell is this thing? I don't see a way in. Let's jump. Come on. Alright, that's... Pointless. Eight more enemies, so it's possible that this thing here could just be building up to a boss fight. Maybe two shamblers, which makes sense, because it's called, uh... Uh, Vampire Sisters, you know. Or Vores, actually. If you had Vores, that would make sense. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, let's do it. No, that was actually the exit. So... You know what? I want to see something. I, I wonder if it's possible to beat this map without getting any of the keys. Let me, let me just test something here real quick. Ow. Alright. 
Um, let me see if I remember. We want to go to the red area. Got it, armor. If we get to the red area, we'll try this trick. Not the blue area. Alright, I think it's this one? Damn it! Every time. Maybe they both take you to the blue area. But let's find the pipe. Which I think is actually over here now. Yeah, good, we learned the map. Okay, great. And we go upstairs. I don't want to go this way, I want to go upstairs. Where's that elevator? This room, by the way, is just a kind of a mess. Um, you could easily have three or four interesting rooms inside this one large room. There's no doors, just open corridors, just... Mm. Uh, there's light happening, but the light sources are just kind of all over the place. Like, I don't understand why that is brightly lit. There's a window there, but I don't really see the light coming from. It's just all over the place. This is very brightly lit. Because we've got a hanging torch just hanging there in the middle of uh, nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Which is a common problem in a lot of Quake maps, actually. I'm not going to get on the author for that, but still. Alright, anyway. I got distracted looking at the scenery. Yeah, here's our floor. <laughs> wow. Okay. And we go up here. Yeah, is this open? It is. Hey, there's a Ford there this time. Alright, I got took care of the Vore. I'm just going to run for the exit. Yeah. Yeah, you can totally beat this map without getting any of the keys, so... Alright, well there you go. The progression is absolutely balls in this map. Uh, it's a shame because I really like the uh, theme of red-blue here. Um, one thing I would have done is I would have gone with, further with the theme. Maybe have the red brick environment be like a flame or lava area. And have this blue environment that we're seeing here now as a water environment. Uh, maybe have enemies unique to different areas as well too. Something uh, to drive home the uh, name of the map more, uh, the Vampire Sisters. So, is it a two out of five map? Is that a fair rating on Quadic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, even for the time, this would have seemed very, um, very unfinished. It's lacking a lot of polish. Um, two out of five is very fair. I would rate it because I go ten, uh, a four out of ten. Um, there's better maps to play that are of the 90s. Uh, I give this one a pass. Unless you really, really want to see a Vampirilla in a Quake map. In which case, go ahead. Go nuts. She's here. Or at least a portrait of her. And her blue sister. Alright, and that is it. Thank you all for watching. This is Jag Tiger 93 signing out. You have a good one.